All right, so I'm gonna show you step by step exactly how to create eye-catching image posts on YouTube. So you wanna pay close attention as I'm going throughout this entire process, all right? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So right now I'm on my YouTube channel homepage. So in order for you to create a poll, what you want to do if you're not here right now, you want to go ahead and click on your logo and then you want to click view your channel and it's going to take you where I am right now. OK. All right. So now what you want to do is you want to make sure you click on this community tab and then you'll be able to see this section right here. Now, what you want to do when you get to this section is you want to click on the image poll. OK, so now I'm going to break down the things that you need to know about an image poll. So notice the first thing you can see right here, it says zero out of 36. So what does that mean? That means that you get up to 36 characters when it comes to this text section right here. That's the first thing. Secondly, notice this has a square photo, right? So what you want to make your stuff really pop is you want to make sure that the photo that you're using is a perfect square, right? And I'm going to show you a tool you can use to actually make some photos that will actually make your stuff stand out. All right. All right. Now let's go to the options, right? So notice it says option one, option two. And then if I hit option again and I hit option again, notice it doesn't let me do more than four options, right? So that's something else that you should know moving forward with creating these polls. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an example of a post I already created. So right here, it says 16 votes. And as you can see, how do you primarily fund your YouTube channel expenses? I pretty much put my text here, which is full-time job. And then I put like something that represents that. And then right here, I slash the clock in half, which represents part-time job. And then right here, freelancing or side gigs. I pretty much found a photo where I had somebody look like they're kind of like relaxing in their house, just doing their thing. And then YouTube ad earnings, I pretty much just put a photo with YouTube and it says skip ad right there, right? So it gives all the visuals and it has the text. And you can see people are already responding to this particular poll here. So this is what I'm gonna show you how to make in this video. So now I'm about to show you this tool that's going to allow you to make your polls stand out. All right, so what you're looking at right now is a poll that I'm about to post on my channel, but I figure it would be a whole lot better for you to see me go through a process with an actual post that's gonna go on my channel, all right? So as you can see right here, it says, what software do you use to edit your videos? This is the poll that I'm gonna ask my audience, all right? So when I ask them, I'm gonna go ahead and put these as the answers, right? Now, what I'm gonna do though, I'm gonna use photos along with the names, okay? So you're gonna see how all this come out. Now, the tool we're going to be using to do this is actually called Canva. Now, inside of Canva, the first thing you want to do, remember, it's a square photo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here to where it says custom size. And do keep in mind, there will be a link down below in the description. It'll be the first link. You can actually get started with Canva for free. I recommend you go ahead and get Canva right now so you can go throughout this process as I'm doing it step by step, okay? All right, so you want to go to custom size. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and put 500 by 500. Then you want to go ahead and hit create new design because what we want, we want the square. Okay. So boom, you see, you got that square, right? Now, the first thing we could do is we can click on this and we can go and we could change the background color, right? So maybe you want it to be red. Maybe you want it to be green. Or if I hit see all and then I come over here, I'm going to have to move my photo real quick. All right, so you see these gradient colors? I kind of like these a little bit better. They kind of pop a little bit more. So if I click on this, uh, let's kind of go with this one right here. All right, so I'm gonna roll with that one. And I'm gonna bring me back over. And then now what am I gonna do? Since this is my poll question, I got Adobe Premiere, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get all the logos, which I already have on the computer, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and get the logos and press them against this particular square. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna duplicate this four times okay so i'm gonna go one two and it should it should already be one two three and i'm gonna go ahead and do one more all right so now i got all four of my things right so now what i need to do is i need to click on this first one and then i need to go right over here to where it says uploads okay so in my case i have them uploaded but if you had to go to elements what you would do is you would come over here and let's say you need it like a video let's just put something video related video tool I would just type it in and then let's say for instance i wanted to use something like this right like let's say i was asking people what type of lighting do you use or something like that right i would come over here just like this and you see boom i would use this as my visual i'm gonna show you how this all look here in a minute because this is gonna be a live post but let me go ahead and take that away 
and we're gonna go ahead and get started all right so I'm gonna go to uploads for me and the first one I'm gonna go ahead and put Adobe Audition okay there we go all right so now the next one Descript all right there we go right there make this a little bigger like that and then let's go to the next one uh, I think the next one was Final Cut Pro so let's go to Final Cut Pro do the exact same thing boom just like that and then we'll just go with uh, cap cut for the last one right since I think we only got four so let's find the cap cut one. Oh no we clicked on the wrong one all right so let's click on this one right here and boom we got our cap cut and so now we got the Adobe Premiere we got our Descript we got our final cut and we got our cap cut. So now the question is, how do I download these so I can use them? So what we wanna do inside of Canva is we wanna go right here to where it says share. And then what we wanna do from here, I'm gonna to have to move me again. What we wanna do is we wanna click right here to where it says download. And then you see it says select pages. You can either download them individually by going ahead and clicking this and then going one by one, or you can click on all four, hit done, and then go ahead and hit download. Now it's gonna download them and it's gonna download them in a zip file. And then all you have to do is just extract the file. And once you do that, it'll show you all what you need. All right, so boom, here it is right here for me. So I'm gonna just name this editing. We'll just say editing right now just like that and then we'll go ahead and hit save all right so there's the zip file i'm gonna go ahead and click on that so it can extract okay and then there's all four of my photos right so i'm gonna go ahead and continue on throughout the process of actually making the poll now let's go back to the youtube channel and then now i'm gonna click on image poll i'm gonna go to the first photo we're just gonna go ahead and put one of our photos in there let's go ahead and find it boom there's the first one so let's double click, boom, there that is. You see how it just fits right in that spot? That makes your stuff pop, right? Because first off, I'm not just using a photo, I'm using a orange color, right? So that's gonna pop right from the jump and then we have the logo, right? And then I'll go ahead and add the other ones. Boom, just like that, there's Descript. Let's add option three and four, click here. Boom, we got that one, click here boom we got the cap cut all right so now this is where i go ahead and i put the text so adobe premiere pro okay boom there we go right there d script go and copy this over here boom just like that final cut pro and finally we got cap cut so let's just go ahead and copy cap cut just like that and post it right there all right so just just review our post let me go ahead and drag the actual question in there just like this come back over here and boom so what what software do you use to edit your videos so now not only do they have the text now they have the photos right so it's a lot better and to me it just stands out more so I'm gonna be continuing to experiment with the image polls and also the text polls as well to see which ones are getting me you know more engagement all right so boom we got what we need so you can also reposition your images too um, if that's something that you want to do but as you can see here I have a perfect square so it's not doing anything but if you do upload a photo that is bigger and you want to bring it to a spot you can actually adjust it here but I don't have to do that okay so I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel now another thing you could do is you can schedule this which is exactly what I'm about to do since I did just make a post as you can see from earlier it was like six hours ago so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hit this drop down and I'm gonna schedule a post okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to what's today today is the 8th so I'm gonna go ahead and put the 9th and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this you know based on my time I'm gonna go with let's go with 11 p.m. the reason I'm doing 11 p.m. because it's based on my local time and I'm actually in Asia so I'm ahead of the Eastern time all right so boom so local time right here and then I just go ahead and hit schedule Okay, so now if I go to the schedule section, if I click right here, then boom, it should show my post here in a minute. So let me go ahead and click on this, refresh, go back to it. Okay, so there it is, scheduled for 11 p.m. tomorrow, right? So boom, everything is there. So when somebody sees that, they click on it and then you'll see all of the interaction inside of your analytics.